Hi Virgo, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in the area of love for the week of December 7th to December 13th, 2020. So what's going on with you, Virgo? What awaits for you in the area of love, December 7th to December 13th, 2020? This shuffling the cards here. Let's see what message we have for you. I'm just going to randomly pick a card. Let's see, I'm feeling this one here. Okay, first card we have is the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Um, this is not your energy. Um, you're a Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, but the Queen of Swords is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, so you might be dealing with an air sign. This this energy is a very strict energy. It's kind of cold. Yeah, very cold and very, um, I feel like this person is very upset. And they're very disappointed. It doesn't feel like a positive energy there. Somebody has a lot of inner conflict. Emotional, mental conflict. They're having a tough time finding balance within their own self. There's a lot of worries, a lot of, um, a lot of concerns. Let's see what else, what other message we have here. What's going on in the area of love for Virgo, December 7th to December 13th? What's going on with Virgo? We have here the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. So this is someone who is very reserved, who's not really communicating with anyone. They're not sharing with anyone. They're keeping secrets, they're withholding information, they are very insecure and they're very scared to be vulnerable and to be exposed. So this is someone who's holding on to to their to the things in their life that they possess, to their material things, but also to their emotions and their feelings. They're holding it inside and they're protecting their heart. Let's see. Let's see what else we have for you, Virgo. Sorry, I have a message here. What other message do we have for Virgo? We have here the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. So this is a card of being um, busy on some sort of project, being busy in the area of work. Yeah, being distracted. This is a card of being distracted, doing a lot of things um, that are practical, practical issues or matters in your life. Um, this is you taking care of those things and being focused on completing certain projects and completing certain responsibilities. So, so far the energy, like I said, Virgo, it feels a little bit down, feels a little bit um, like a low vibration energy. Let's see what your energy is because I'm a little bit um, unsure as to which of these cards represents you. So what is the energy of Virgo? This is for December 7th to December 13th. What is the energy of Virgo? Oh, card popped out here. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles as your energy. So you, you want a new beginning. You want a new beginning in love. One that is committed and stable and secure. I feel like this is what you're wishing for and what you're hoping for. 
but I don't feel like you you quite have it at this time. It's like just something that you want and that you're waiting for. Let's see what other energies represents Virgo. We have the Ace of Cups, so you're wanting love. The Ace of Cups, you're wanting a new beginning in love. And you want a new beginning in love that is long term and that is committed and that is stable. Let's see the energy of whoever it is that you're dealing with in love. Um, are they able to offer you this? Or are they on some, some other path? Are they going in a different direction? Do they have different desires than, than what you desire? Let's see this other person. We have the Five of Pentacles as whoever you're dealing with. So, yeah, they're not in this energy of Ace of Pentacles. It's like they don't feel like they can offer you anything. They, this is a card of poverty. But it doesn't have to be um, physical poverty, like um, financial poverty. This can just be poverty of the soul. This person feels like they're lacking, like they're lacking, they're lacking something in their in themselves that they feel like they can't offer you this commitment. They're lack. It can be many things. It's. It doesn't have anything to do with you. It's their own personal um, insecurities and their own personal issues that are making them feel like they're not good enough and like they can't um, offer you what you want. And for some of you, this person might be actually um, uh, economically unstable. Um, it's possible that they struggle in their finances and their personal finances so they can't offer you um, a stable life in terms of you know financially um, so it's possible that this person is just um, you know not well off in life they don't have work perhaps they don't they don't have a home um, they're they're lacking material success and financial success and so this might be why they're feeling like you know they can't offer you anything let's see what other energy represents whoever you're dealing with in love show me the person Virgo is dealing with in love what is their energy we have here the Page of Cups, the Page of Cups. So this person does want to, um, they do want to be with you. I do feel like they have love for you. They're very much, um, they very much feel an emotional, a deep emotional connection with you. And I feel like this is them expressing that and communicating that to you. However, with the Five of Pentacles, it's like, even though they have all this love for you inside of them, it's like they they're like hollow. It's like they have a lot of mental issues or emotional issues. Um, maybe this person is suffering addictions in their life, or maybe they're 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 going through a lot of family issues um, or material, like I said, financial issues. It can be many things, It's they just don't feel like they can offer you something sustainable and something committed um, that will be, you know, what you deserve. So I do feel like they're, they are sad about this. And um, you Virgo, like I said, you're wanting something, uh, a new beginning. I'm not sure if you mind this person's inability to... To offer you something um, stable in terms of the material um, aspect of things. Um, it's possible that you don't mind this, you know. It's possible that you're okay accepting this person 
just as they are. Um, I am getting that type of energy um, or that I'm getting that message that you're you're willing to accept this person the way they are um, because because of who they are because you're you're in love with the person they are not with what they have or what they don't have so I just got that message that might be for some someone watching let's see any final messages here for Virgo what is the outcome of this relationship Ooh, I'm sorry what is the outcome of this relationship? Okay, we have here temperance. Temperance as the outcome. So I do feel like this is a very positive energy and this is um, a positive sign. I feel like there is hope for this relationship. There is... Um, there is still the very strong possibility of you two actually being together and having this Ace of Pentacles and this Ace of Cups, this new beginning in in love and in and in and a new beginning in this relationship. I do feel like it has the potential of being something um, that can make you really happy and that can be successful. It can it can be long term. Temperance means you need to just have a little bit of patience. It means that divine timing is um, in effect. It's it's in the process right now. Certain things have to align. Certain factors have to come together so that you two can be together. But I feel like with the Temperance card, if you can have patience, I do feel like things will turn favorable in this relationship and it, it will be successful um, because I do feel like there is genuine love here and there is um, destiny is at play because temperance can be destiny and um, this person is like an angelic energy where angels are protecting this union and working in favor of this union so I do feel like this is a positive message here, Virgo, of, you know, just give this person a little bit more time to heal because I do feel like they need to heal um, a lot of personal pain and issues. But if you give them the time that they need um, and you're patient with them, this person is going to, you know, uh, mature. They're going to grow up, I feel, because they are in an energy here. A page of cups which is a little bit immature so I do feel like this person is going to mature and they're going to realize that you are somebody that is worth it that you are somebody who who is worth the the effort and who is worth taking taking a chance on so yeah that's what I see Virgo um, I hope this reading made sense to somebody out there I hope it resonated and yeah like I said just hold on don't lose faith don't lose hope um, there is angels here working in your favor and working to protect this union so just have a little bit of patience and I think things will be really great for you so that's what I see Virgo I hope this reading resonated please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye Virgo.